Hey you guys, Antrenum here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is episode 4 of Mind of the Maker. Now I bet quite a few of you have been wondering where the series has been, or if you have subscribed to me after like the July-ish area of 2011, then you're probably wondering what the series is. Uh, and essentially what the series is, or what it was, is it was a series where I was making an adventure map of sorts, but I got really bored with it because the amount of work that you have to do in order to get like a little bit done is like, it doesn't really pay off as much, like many Mentally, so it's something that I kind of just stopped doing, you know, out of the blue. But, uh, you know, earlier today I was getting kind of bored and I spent a couple of hours working on what you guys are seeing here. And it's something that I'm calling the Labyrinth. Now, if I do end up making an adventure map again, again, there's no guarantees, but I've kind of been in the mood for it lately. This is something that would end up going into the map. This wouldn't be the map itself, obviously, because the actual objective of the Labyrinth doesn't really take that long to complete, but I thought it was really neat. And uh, another neat detail is 99% of this entire thing was made purely with world edit. Like for example, I used the walls command to make glass walls here, um, to make this, you know, this randomized, like, neat little stone pattern here, even to create, like, the wood that's underneath here and the leaves that are sitting on top of it. Like, I had to make, like, a sphere in order to place the wood there, and then for the leaves, really weird, um, I placed, like, a, uh, what do you call it? A flat, you know, sand area above this entire thing and let it fall onto the wood. And then I replaced all the sand that fell on top of it with leaves. And then I like, you know, evened it out so that it looked really nice. But anyways, I think I'm getting a little bit off topic because I haven't even explained the objective of the, the, the labyrinth yet. So anyways, once we head inside here, you can see this is the entrance to the labyrinth. This is the entrance and the exit, so there's no exit on the other side. Because again, this is not a typical maze. Now essentially what the uh, the objective of the labyrinth is going to be, uh, currently it's not set up this way, but essentially what it is, is you go through the labyrinth and you find an assortment of buttons. Like, uh, I think there's going to be in total like 20 chests in this thing. Uh, 20 or 30 chests and inside every one of them there's going to be a button but there's are there's also going to be random chests that are going to house random other items that would help during the adventure maps uh, course so for example I don't really know if I'm going to turn this into a mob heavy adventure map or anything like that but there might be a diamond sword in one of the chests things like that uh, you know rare things that you can find that might make your life a little bit easier while doing the map so as you can see here there's a whole bunch of fire resistance potions uh, which you know if you end up falling in the lava along the way fi the fire resistance potions basically make it so you are absolutely immune to the lava so if I go ahead and I jump around here let me actually game mode myself so I am set to survival I have I think I might be god moded so I don't think I'm actually gonna take damage but I could be wrong on that so as you can see I can kind of travel around here there's I put iron leggings in there the items that are in the chest are just kind of like it's the whole thing is just in like a beta stage I don't really know where I'm putting anything because I need to do a lot of play testing to make sure that this is all good but let me just go ahead and let me do a little bit of traveling around here. Let's jump right here. Jump onto this. Uh, let's go down this way. Let's take a look around here. And I don't know. You will never get out, says that sign. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be placing signs all over the place, too, to try and, like, scare you and whatnot. Um, nothing in that chest. Yeah, I just kind of placed chests all over the place where it kind of felt fitting. And, yeah, I'm, I suppose you guys are getting the idea of this. You know, you just you have to travel around the entire thing in order to get buttons, and then you have to get out. Now, uh, for those of you who are not, like, the maze-friendly type, you may not like the fact that you have to, you know, find your way all, the th all throughout this entire thing again in order to, uh, you know, find your way out. So you notice that, uh, you know, back there and then right here, there is this hole in the ceiling. And if I just climb these vines here and go through the hole, in the ceiling you can see that this area well beside there being an absolute crap ton of vines there's a sign over here that says you are close to the entrance so you can actually climb down this little thing right here in order to get back to the entrance and I might include a little item in here just to you know show that for for those of you who are for people who ended up finding this area whether it be naturally or because of this video again I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this in an adventure map um, but I wanted to make this video anyways but I might include something in there that's just like a little congratulations um, and then you can climb back down here close to the entrance and then all you have to do is look around this corner and you can see that the entrance is right over there all I have to do is climb these vines a bit and do this there we go jump just like this and you are out of the labyrinth and hopefully you have a bunch of neat little items that you can you know use throughout the adventure map and again I think it's gonna be buttons because whatever area like I, I was I played an adventure map a while back where you had to collect a whole ton of switches in order to open up a bunch of iron doors and I think it would probably be something like that but I'm not really hundred percent sure again this whole thing is just kind of in beta um, 
And yeah, so now what I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to explain more in depth because I explained the little area up there before the jungle type looking area this area right here I explained how this was made but I'm gonna explain how the rest of it was made for those of you who are kind of curious so essentially what I ended up doing first is you can see all of these pillars here you know there's no like random assortment of blocks it's not like the it's not too much of a clusterfuck um, as you can see here you see all these pillars right here and essentially what I did is I used the world edit command um, I think it was slash set and I'm not again I'm not gonna go in too much into detail about this but what I did was I uh, created a percentage of blocks. I think this was like, it was either 25 or 50% I set to be a certain stone material, and then I selected all of those and I randomized them all to be a random type looking stone. Um, let me just go ahead and let me type that command. Just pretend I had this, this whole area selected. All I would have to do is type in slash slash replace uh, replace I think if I had it set the regular stone the the stone block is one and then I'd have to uh, set nine I'd have to do like 98 comma 98 comma one or 98 yeah 98 comma 98 uh, colon one comma 98 colon two etc etc and it would replace all of these selected blocks with the blocks that I told it to and I also worked with percentages as well um, in order to make this and I did the same thing with the walls as well I created all glass walls and then I manually replaced the corners and stuff like that and then I randomly placed a whole bunch of vines here can't really tell you why I did that but yeah um that does that should give you a pretty good idea as to what all of this you know how all of this was made oh and as well the glass flooring here was made the exact same way i didn't just i didn't just go overload on placing a whole bunch of glass blocks on the floor what i did was i selected this blank floor area and i told world edit to replace any air blocks with i think it was like 50% glass and 50% air uh, so it didn't replace any of the stone that was already there just replaced the air and made it a really neat like looking dyslexic uh, I don't know if dyslexic is the right word. Maybe it is. I don't know, but it made a really neat looking labyrinth of sorts so yeah um, and then I did a little bit of manual editing myself punching the holes in the roof you know placing a couple vines here and there to make it so that you can travel from the beginning to the end and all of that so anyways guys um if you guys want to check this out for yourselves um, and you happen to know the server that I frequent, I'm not going to talk about it in the description or, or anything like that. If you guys know, then, you know, and you happen to find my plot on the server, then you can check it out for yourselves, but you won't be able to get into any of the chests or anything like that. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed this video anyways. Uh, my name is Aminem, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.